the replace function. It is sometimes known as the substitute function in some other programs, but they all kind of do the same thing. Replace functions or substitute functions looks at a certain phrase, uh, a certain set of information, things like a word. It finds a certain pattern and replaces it with something else, right? So if I do the dog jumped over the fence and I do a replace function to replace dog with cat, the outcome becomes the cat jumped over the fence, right? And we all know that's not true because cats pounce. They don't jump, they pounce, okay? So let's do a calculation of category. And as you can see in category, let's say it's actually not supposed to be called office supplies, it's supposed to be called business supplies, okay? I wanna be able to go in and change that to business very easily, right? So I can use a replace function. If I right click here, create, calculated field, and let's call this category replace, all right? And I'm gonna look for the replace function so you can have a look at it here on the side. And I'm going to go replace, all right, and that's actually just disappeared. Let's just bring that back. Replace. The first thing I'm going to bring in is the string that we're actually going to be working with. Then we're going to go, what are we replacing? In this case, we're replacing the word office with the word business. Okay, so those are your three parts. The string I'm using, what I want to replace, and what I want to replace it with. And this is, the, this is generally how it all works across all platforms. Uh, all, across all kind of softwares that I've used in the past. There's really only three elements that you can introduce to it. Sometimes you'll have a variation, but that's pretty much what a replace uh, function does. So if we go OK, and we go into view data or data, right? we're going to have category here, and we're going to get category replace. And as you can see, it's replaced all the times office, or it says office, with the word business. And this doesn't matter if in this one it says office supplies, this says supplies office, this is the office supplies. It just looks for the word office anytime, anywhere in that column and replaces it with the word business. And that's basically how the replace function works. There's not really too much to it than that. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you at the next video.